spot. So this is the spot that they've decided for, that they're going to use for the hunt. So let's hear what Yak has to say for himself. I'm a badass. I can track anything. <laughs> but without my crew, I'm nothing. We're not a team without all four of us. We know he's here. We know we got a trap. Just load that up and get it out here. You gotta bring that thing all the way out here. That thing's heavy. We gotta get it out here because this is where the grunch is at. But now that we have a location, let's load everything up on a boat because I sure as hell ain't carrying it out here by hand. All right, bro. It's getting late. Let's get out of here. <sighs> so they didn't even bring the trap with them. They walked endlessly through the swamp, found it, and then go, all right, let's go back and get the trap now and take it apart and get a boat. Wow. They, why didn't they have a boat the first time? I don't understand. They're not as good as the mountain monsters at this point because they would have thought about that. No. Maybe. And they, <laughs> Maybe. And basically, after this, you could just cue another one of those construction montages where they play music and they take. now they just take it apart. They probably well, just like, played the original. Yeah. Original I just, footage. I love that dude. I love that dude's confidence, man. He's I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Like what? But without my team, I ain't. What shit. are you talking about, bro? Yeah. They cut to him, and that's just, he's just like, look, I'm a fucking badass. All right, I'm gonna come <laughs> out here. This grunch is this is nothing. And you've heard subtly they keep bringing up. Uh, we we think this might be a pack animal, and then someone's like, I think they're in packs, and oh, they run in packs when they get older. It's like they're Our building troops. it up, building it up, building it up. That yeah, we get it. There, there's a pack of these things, which makes it even weirder that no one has found them yet. Yeah, yeah you would think, and that, and that there's only what? How many of them together? How many are these guys? There's four of them. There's going to be a fifth member joining uh, a little later, which should have been there the whole time. As you'll shouldn't find they out. get more people if they're worried about them being pack animals? And they have the cameraman and whatever. Oh right, right. There. I forget they and the cameramen are fully armed. Everybody's armed. Everybody's got oh, guns. Good. Well. Oh, of we'll course, see. they're all packing. Okay, good. good. <laughs> now, speaking of being armed, we all love nunchucks and swords, right? Oh, oh of yeah. Of course. Well, these guys, they introduced a new epic weapon while messing with the trap. Here's my grunch club. So whenever we do get that animal live in that cage, a good whack on the head right this will definitely knock it out. Where we're going to be able to get it to somewhere where they can examine it and find out what this creature really is. Come on. There you go. <laughs> They're going to kill yeah. the grunge the same way that the fucking Eskimo guys kill the seals. That's what their plan is, pretty much. <laughs> I almost it, knocked my whole microphone over. It It is accurate to call this a grunge club. It, it's like a baseball bat, but it is huge. It is huge, and Nacho <laughs> oh has God. it. And there we oh go. So God. if we ever make Unbelievers Clue, we have another weapon. It can be uh, Huckleberry with the grunge club. In I'm sure the it'll be made into a trading or something. card too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, they're you know they're almost done here, and now it's time for them to give a little bit of a simplified explanation of their plan. Woody, Woody found the perfect place to catch the grunge. Got to reassemble the trap, insert the chicken, and let nature take its course. Whoa! <laughs> You're gonna insert a chicken and let nature take its course? I don't like the way they word never any heard of that. that. I never heard that phrase before, and I don't want to ever hear it again. What, insert you know, the chicken or let nature take its course? Well, you, you shouldn't insert, insert a, chicken. a chicken anywhere. <laughs> That's just nature taking its course. That's what these guys are. They're all in chicken tune with nature insertion. in the swamp. They love it. So it's a solid it's a solid plan with the chicken, so let's hear some more. Come on, Not dude. Your... I grab five-foot alligators, Brock, and hold a chicken. Not just stop choking that chicken. We got a chicken making oh noise, God. giving off its scent, which is typically a uh, prey, so it should be a no-brainer. All right, for the chicken? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're going to be p- kind of upset losing your friend and everything. But... All right, buddy. If we get on the other end and start scaring that grunge and get it to move and get it to this direction, dude, when it catches a scent on that chicken, it's going to forget all about us. Not be worrying that it's being hunted, and he's going to start hunting. All right, we're running out of daylight, but we'll keep him in a cage for now until we get this thing camouflaged up, and we'll set him down. We'll set our trip wire up, and uh, hopefully sit back and uh, enjoy. It sounds relaxing. We're going to sit back and enjoy as we yeah. sacrifice this chicken. <laughs> well, I enjoy letting nature take its course when it comes to chicken insertion. Right. So I, I trust them. I think they're going to do a fine job. I love yeah, I love well, what Russ what Russ said when we were watching this. You, you were saying that they reminded you of Wile E. Coyote. And uh, it's exactly what it <laughs> sounds like, dude. It sounds exactly like Wile E. Coyote trying to catch fucking Roadrunner. 
I, it sounds I, like they're setting up a weird conjugal visit. I don't like it. I, <laughs> I know nothing about traps. If you asked me to make a trap, it would look exactly like this. I'd be like, I don't know. I'd make a box. <laughs> and when you walk in it, the door closes and there's a chicken inside. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's like this was for a robbery suspect. They don't care about chickens. <laughs> Yeah, and they're and they acting so lazy about it, too. They're like, well, we'll just get there, and the chicken's going to do all the work. Once it gets the scent of the chicken, <laughs> we'll just sit back, relax, and then we'll be, you know, we'll yeah. be barbecue, having barbecued grunts jambalaya later. Chicken's <laughs> just going to release its chicken scent. That's what it does. So, so the they chicken's get back, making all them noises. They get the chicken inside the trap, and the hunt begins, but it is time to get serious. All right, fellas, this is a game plan. We're going to split up into two... Two man elements. I'm taking Elliot. <laughs> We're gonna head this way to the left. Rick, I need you there with Nacho. One point. Cover his eyes good. Nacho, a thermal camera. Use that to our advantage. Oh yeah, dude. This strip of high ground that we're on is bordered to the west by four foot of water. Burick and I are gonna flank the western boundary and push towards the trap. While Yak and Elliot heard the grunching in from the east. They love the high ground, I'll just say. Well, you should. Well, that's it's a good thing to love the high ground. At least they're doing that part right. And they do sound a little more serious now, and it is starting to get intense now. You're in the swamp at night. You've got your chicken. You've got your trap. You've mm. got everything. It gets intense now until this happens. Yeah. Look what I found, dude. What is it? What? <laughs> Bruh, a whole pile of it. It's an odd color, don't you think? <laughs> look at a hair in that. Doesn't look like deer. No, not deer, not hog, or anything else that's out here. Grunch is the only thing this could have come out of. <laughs> huh. They got some grunch. That's a, yeah, that's a good, good conclusion. Very scientific. At least they ran it through the science calculator and said, well, it's not a boar, it's not a deer. Gotta be grunge. It's nasty. Remember, it looked like Ch- someone went to Chipotle. Is what it looked like. It's really <laughs> gross. Chipotle. I I thought it looked like weed. It did. It looked like nugs of weed. It was really. It was really it was weird. hairy. That's because of the hair. So, it was like a they, lot of hair. And they would have tried to smoke it first if it did <laughs> you, look like weed. Are you, grunches are why are they eating so much hair? They shouldn't even have feathers in it or something. That, that why doesn't... are they eating all that weed without smoking it first? It's maybe that's sh- <laughs> shitting weed. It's possible. That's, that's, Don't shit that's weed. Nacho that's the dropping worst way probably. To, maybe yeah. It's, if you're gonna try to eat. Weed, that's not how you do it. No, you Everybody gotta Everybody knows that. You gotta get the edibles. Well gotta, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I need to know more about this poo. I don't. <laughs> Isn't it too much for a grunge? There might be a pack around here, dude. Good, more for me to shoot at. And that scat looks fresh. Bruh, it's definitely fresh. Zeus, keep close to me. Yak and I came across some grunge scat. It's more than one. We know we're up against a pack. <laughs> definitely ain't alone out here and it couldn't have gotten far yet let's go they are bad actors very very bad actors and what are they trying to say that the grunge is all just shit in one pile at the same place yeah what the hell is that they're saying this one pile is too big for one animal no i don't know okay look i don't watch animals taking a shit like on purpose but (laughs) i've seen dogs in a dog park and they do not all converge and shit in the same communal pile they don't line up you know they're gonna mark their territory they don't line up like a busy bar and like just shit all in the same spot no they don't have porta potties they don't have designated spot there's a big designated spot and they don't want to step in the shit so they space it out I'm glad you brought up. I'm like. glad you brought up dogs because I teased that there was a number member, another member of this team, and we finally introduced to it's their dog? dog, Zeus. Yeah, their dog Zeus was oh. there, and when they were, I don't know why they waited until now to introduce that they had a dog. They would be much more endearing, but as soon as they find the poo, uh, Zeus started <laughs> starts <laughs> trying to go eat it or something. So that, that's the only reason the dog might eat it. That's the only reason they even showed Zeus. I don't know why they were bringing a normal dog on here. That seems like a bad idea when you are a, a hunting giant dog monsters. Wait, it's not. It's just a regular dog. It's not even a special grunch hunting dog or nothing. No, it's just a normal dog. Oh, he's probably well, a dog. He looks like a good boy. We already know we'll there's. We already know there's like something killing dogs because we already found one dog's skull. So well, they have a. He has a guardian. This dog has four. Four guardians, right? Four. He's got well, yak. Enough. He's got yak watching his back. So yeah, he's got yak and nacho. That's good. If something happens to the chicken, they have a backup plan. Now the other team isn't lucky enough <laughs> to find the, the other dark. team isn't lucky enough to find grunt shit, 
but they do find something. Whoa, Nacho, look at this, buddy. You got something? Yeah, I got a bunch of tracks. There's a bunch, dude. Bro, I knew they ran in packs, but look at this. This is insane. It's definitely more than one that's doing that. I turn off on a ton of tracks all in one place. It's a big ass pack of grunge. <laughs> big ass yes. pack of grunge. Ooh, can we make bad. that a sound clip for the soundboard? Bad, bad actors. Yeah, big ass pack of grunge. Bad, That's bad gross. acting all over. The Mountain Monsters has come off way more natural. These guys. I turn off on a ton of tracks all in one place. It's a big ass pack of grunge. Russ, I, th- <laughs> I think you're suffering, Russ. I think you're suffering from that. Um, I don't know if there's a name for it where things just seem better in the past because Mountain Monsters were not very good actors. Mm, I mean, I don't, they, they, when they were joking around, shit was fun. But this sounds no. to me, it sounds just as bad. You know what? I gotta. I'm gonna go in the opposite direction and say the Mountain Monsters were fantastic actors. Buck cried on camera. Do you have you no, forgotten? Oh, have you he forgotten? had you fooled. Well, he I was, guess maybe I just have a better uh, discernment for when people are bullshitting because I didn't even <laughs> believe them. I thought that the Mountain Monsters yeah. were bad actors too. They all were, but they said a lot more memorable stuff like, what are we going to do, wander around the world, the rest of our lives? You not, know, they not got, knowing who the hell we are. What the hell else are we going to do, wander around the world the rest of our life, not knowing who the Who's hell we to... are? All right, yeah. you know what? You, you know, you're right. I'll, I take it back. <laughs> You've proven me wrong. That was such a moment. And circling back to what they're talking about. So these guys find tracks. This would just be raccoon tracks, and but they are just pounding that whole it must be a pack. There's a big pack of poo over there. And we got a bunch <laughs> of big pack of tracks right here. Wow. <laughs> but unfortunately, as some of these things go, the hunters have now become the hunted. But they stick with that plan. Look out! There's a pack of them. You see him? It's on the run. Yeah, I hear him, dude. Let's, Let's push it towards the trap. We either gonna shoot it or catch it. There's more than one way to skin a grunge. Yak and I are on one team. <laughs> Burek and Nacho on the other. We gotta fan out until we're on opposite sides of the trap, about 100 feet from the trap. Keep hunting in a clockwise circle. We're moving closer and closer to this trap in hopes of forcing the grunge to it. I call it the tornado. Let's go. All right. <laughs> yes, this is their plan now. It's called the tornado, which. <laughs> If you know, as you know, one of the things about tornadoes is they move very slowly around a circle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they take their time. They really got these guys do take their time to to call it a tornado is almost insulting to tornadoes. These guys walking very very slowly around, they're being chased by this whole team. And don't forget about the diagram. Well, I mean, Russ, don't forget about yeah. Their... Tornadoes have to form a, a strategy. Tornadoes they, actually think about their attack. They fucking drew yeah. it up. They drew it up like Emilio Estevez in the Mighty Ducks, <laughs> fucking coming up with yeah, a new with a, a new play. V. And it's so ridiculous. Like it they, is. They show it like so four they, or five times, and they're very proud they, of it. In their own words, they are two two man elements, and they are <laughs> um, they are spaced apart perfectly, and they slowly move in a circle around the chicken trap, and that is their little move called the tornado. Just a good little thing. And I want to note something right now. Now, while the mountain monsters aim guys, they set out after Bigfoot with shotguns. These guys, <laughs> are, these guys are way way more strapped with what looks like M16s or AR15 like weapons. Oh, which it's, is it? Really? They have assault rifles? Let's let's hear them and some of their weaponry right now. See anything? No, no, I don't see nothing. But boy, you feel that air getting a little colder, a little chilly like that? Dude, that's that's rain coming. That or the evil spirit off of this grunge. Oh, cool. What was that? The hell was that? The thing sounds evil. What is that, dude? Take what a shot, bro. Get it. Who that? Get a drive. Come on. Sound like a shotgun. Not two. Who that? I see one. Go. <laughs> Dude, what the? F- it's a war zone now. Oh it my is. God, they're just shooting at each other now. Did so they, they even find one? All they saw was some some uh, some some brush some uh, 
bushes were just rustling and then they just open fire now one team does have shotguns the other team has these <laughs> ar-15s or m-16s Jesus. it is insane and they are so close to each other so let's see if they manage not to shoot each other during the tornado shock and awe 